All right, what is up guys, Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm heading back down to Santa Barbara Ducati. Christina's behind me in the CA Corvette. And we're gonna be putting some more upgrades on our uh, 2020 Ducati Street Fighter V4S. Don't forget, this is our next build series bike. We will be customizing this bike and giving it away when we're done. If you would like to help support the series and be entered to win this bad boy, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Today we're gonna be cleaning up the front end of this bike. One of the things, two things, major things I didn't like about this bike was the fender in the back, which we took care of in the last episode, and all of the shit that's hanging off the front of this bike, which we're gonna take care of in this episode. It might run into uh, two episodes because it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Uh, we're gonna be getting rid of the mirrors, completely replacing the clutch and brake master uh, cylinders, and the levers and the grips, and then um, redoing, getting different uh, reservoirs, uh, Rizoma Reservoirs, there's Teens and the Vet, she's bringing all the parts down for me. And then um, we're also going to be getting rid of these turn signals, we've got some NRC stuff and everything that we have actually we've got through Manny at Moto Million. So if you guys ever want parts for your bikes, specifically the Street Fighter or any of the uh, the big S1, or, uh, leader bikes, S1000, the Jixxer, the R1M, the Panigale V4, uh, check out Moto Million. You can use code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. So I'm going to enjoy myself my ride down to Santa Barbara Ducati and uh, I'll check in with you guys down there and show you all the parts. All right, we have arrived down at Santa Barbara Ducati. Uh, if you missed the last episode, we put the tail tidy on. NRC looks absolutely incredible. Even uh, removed the rear passenger pegs, saved over three pounds with one single mod. Highly recommend it if you got a Street Fighter or any uh, Panigale, really makes it look a lot better. Today, we've got the beautiful Christina K with us. Howdy. And she's makeup free, so you can see all the little freckles. Look at her. Still beautiful, even without makeup. Um, I'm gonna show you, again, I don't think we're gonna get through all this stuff today, because it's quite a bit, yeah, but a yeah, I'll show you everything that we've got. So uh, first we've got some grippy poos, red and black. Since we're gonna be doing the tri calore paint scheme, I thought it'd be cool to have red accents on parts oh, that have red. I think about that, Jared. I always think about that. You didn't get the other part in there. That's very important, arguably more important Ew. than the grips. Panigale spacers, well, no that's, that's what it's called, but it's for this. See this slop right here? I'm not a big fan of this slop, so we're gonna take that out. That's what the spacers do. Oh, um, I love these reservoirs. Yeah. It's a good color. So normally we do black reservoirs, but I thought once again, since we're doing tri calore scheme, it'd be and really cool to do, do red. So we got two of the small ones. You don't have to use a big one on this one. And that way they're gonna be symmetrical. So it'll be about that size on both sides. It's gonna look really, really good. And then these are the bell of the balls right here. Brembo RCS 17, look at that puppy. That'll be for the um, brake. And then we have the same thing for the clutch side. Yeah, you know what that looks like. Looks pretty much the same. So I have to open it. Um, and the turn signals we already have down here, they're in another box. I think I showed you guys those yeah, in, the, in the last episode. Yeah, it looks sick, right? Wait, so this, this, these will be getting replaced by the NRC snap-on signals. Our, oh yeah, those won't be until another episode. But oh. we'll do those, when we take the exhaust okay, off, well, we'll do anyway. those, yeah. I love when there's radiator guards on bikes. It's yeah, so it blacks good. it out and it keeps the radiators from getting destroyed, which it helps with cooling and everything else. So I think that's it for today. That's it. That's it. Um, let's see what we can get through. Thank you, teens. Okay, so I think this is what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, basically, the master cylinders. Uh, Brembo RCS 17 cylinders. It's cool. So Manny actually sent over hollowed out uh, levers to replace the ones that it comes with. So that's really cool. He also sent over the uh, brackets for the reservoirs. So that was really nice of him. And he gave us some clear tubing that we can use for both as well. And that's in both of these uh, boxes. So that's that's why we love Motor Million, dude. Much, much love. Okay, Teens is leaving us. She's going to get laser hair up, seven, removal. Up. On your legs today? Good, they were looking a little hairy. I didn't want to say anything. Thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. Good luck, she'll be back later. Have fun. Okay, so starting with removing the mirrors. Oh my God. That thing sounds good. Holy hell. I keep telling her she needs to put an exhaust on that thing. Comment down below, guys, if she needs to put an exhaust on it. I think she totally should. Fab Speed makes a badass Valtronic system for that thing. It'd be super cool with an X pipe. Mmm, sound a little bit more exotic. Anywho, removing the mirrors, that's what we're gonna start with. And then what? Draining the reservoirs. Get rid of those you things. Can do one too. at a time. Yeah, cool. Just start with the clutch. Just because? Yeah. Okay. And Sounds we'll, good. Yeah, take the mirrors off the bike and just get them out. Sounds good to me. So Rory was just mentioning that for some reason the right mirror is reverse threads. It's because of the wind. Like when the wind pushes. Oh, the top. so it's 
Wow, that's Smart, that's man. wild. Smart Italian. Okay, I'm impressed. So it tightens it instead of loosens it, right? In the wind. Yes. Yeah, Is that the idea? Lefty, not loosey. Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> lefty tidy. The opposite shit. Lefty tidy, righty loosey, on the right hand side. That's that's wild. There you go. Bet you guys didn't know that. Actually, probably everyone did in the comment section below. Hey, and you were right about the uh, S -S -S -X Yeah. They said, I, I forget what it was, but in Italian, Sinistra is right. It's funny you were talking about that, because I said on the video that, uh, I'm just holding on to do the oh. other one. The guy who taught me, Thomas, I text Thomas and told him that in Charlotte, <laughs> and he said, funny because I just gave that lake, that same lecture. No way. Yeah, an hour ago. That's but, how you remember it. Yeah, it's just so old, and it's legendary. That's how you remember it, dude. Cool. I'm just, I'm just holding on, so. Yeah, so they don't flop, flop around, around yeah. while we're. We don't like them flopping around. We keep that in our pants. <laughs> she, <she's gone. laughs> okay, next thing he's gonna do is suck out the brake fluid and he unhooked the bleeder. Is that so it can breathe? Is that what, why you took that off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, he said sure. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows why Rory does what he does. I try to get information out of him for you guys. No, I'm just taking it on one side. Look how simple that is. Nice. Huh? And he sucked a few out, a little bit out through the uh, bleeder as well. Yeah, just, just want to get out of the line. Is that the idea? I, I just want to clear up the resin for the uh, the caliper itself, the master. Okay. Cool. Next, he's gonna pop the banjo bolt, and he keeps it on the perch while he does that, so he can break it loose. And then what? We can actually remove the whole, remove the entire thing. Thing. Cool. Coming off. There she goes. Oh yeah. Shows you where to put it. That's yeah. awesome. Look at how naked it looks when that thing is gone. That's crazy. RCS 16, clutch going on. Exciting stuff, guys. Think I'll notice a difference with these? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, replacing the uh, banjo bolt with a new one that they sent over from Brambo. And tightening it down. Okay, so right now he's just figuring out where he wants to put the reservoir. Actually that actually looks really nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So he's putting this here so that we can see when you're low while you're riding. Yeah, we had the discussion then, off camera. Yeah, right? we were trying to figure out which would be the best way to put it. I think that looks the nicest. And then on the backhand side, he's got the Rizoma. It's such a nice, nice looking reservoir compared to that hunk of junk. So clean. We actually have to space this out because of the way the yeah. So you found a nice little spacer there to put in that. Dude, that looks sick. And then what we'll do is we'll run the tubing from here over to here and probably put a left coming out to the left so you have some clear tubing right there that'll look super should, super yeah, nice should hug that yeah oh it's gonna look sick dude okay so now that he has everything mocked up where he wants it he's gonna take it all back apart and loctite it because otherwise he said it'll literally just come loose so we're gonna we don't want that so he's using blue loctite medium strength for a medium hold <laughs> yeah um no blues for this is good so you can actually get it undone if you have to yes which is good but hopefully it won't have to be undone. We probably, blue might be a tad overkill, but it's good. Yeah. Okay, now we're attaching it for real. Got to tighten it down, and then we're going to figure out the tubing. It's going to look really cool, kind of like. Now tell me, I was going to. Swinging around. I was looking at it like this. I was like, man, I got to adjust it. How did I get that so wrong? I know. Because we want them level, and we just, oh, well, that's level that one. But yeah. then we realized yeah. we hadn't actually cranked it, and we did have it perfect. Yeah, that looks freaking sick, dude. I really like how clean this setup is. It's a nice color, super clean. Oh, I dig it. All right, we got the tubing set up where we want it. It's, yeah. a, it's a fine line on this one. Moment of truth. Don't screw it up, Roy. Too light. Nice. And it's gonna wrap around just like this and then clip down on that. It's gonna look dope. Okay, so that's this side done. We'll add the uh, fluids at the same time once we're done with the other side. I think that is really cool how he did that how it curves around that looks really custom it's a really nice touch and then this is what you'll see from this side when you're riding it's fucking badass a lot better than this freaking hunk of junk on the other side a little nice touch so now we're gonna do the same thing suck out the fluid remove this entire thing and replace it with new one okay, okay this side coming off We got fresh bolts and everything too for the whole, there you go. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but he put a little spacer in there. It's just a washer basically, but he's looking for a black one because it matches with the other ones. So he's, 
<laughs> he's been looking around here. He's got all of these here. None of those. None of those worked. He just dumped out a whole other thing over here. Oh, there's got to be one in there. Do you have a lot of freaking washers, man? There you go. Well, Boom. Let's go lock wash on it too. That's what we did. Exactly nice. There it is. Attaching the banjo bolt using the fresh crush washer, and then we can put the uh, entire thing on, and then we can attach the reservoir. Next thing he did was attach the brake switch. It's just two pins, it pushes right in, but it's got to be lined up properly. It's just something so minor, and but people just like, oh yeah, we just don't put it on, but with modern bikes, especially modern electronics, it controls so much stuff, yeah. from the cruise control to the launch control, yeah. to the brake lights, it's yeah. just full on. Cool. It can't be avoided, plus yeah. it, it's legal. Yeah, you want that on there. So now we can attach it. There's Teens. We're good. Oh, Teens is back. Thought I heard her. Damn, that car looks good. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this. Has it come off on camera? Uh, Look at no. my big gotta, old calves. You gotta go. In the you light. Can't. There we go. Uh, kinda. Yeah. Oh, God. Is it painful? Yeah. That doesn't look fun. They gave me like the Hispanic, like uh, darker feature, for, like darker skin tones. So it didn't hurt as much as it usually would. Ooh, that is wild. Yeah. The things she does for beauty, guys. Woo. The things she does for beauty. It's because she's Lebanese. Look yeah, at her eyebrows. Look at those so eyebrows. Stubborn. Look at how dark they are. They're dark and they're like tree trunks, each hair. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, attaching it right now, the perch. It looks... We don't know if we are. We I know, it apparently. Hey, doesn't that look nice, though? Yeah, I love the color. Look yeah. how clean it is, too. It's and we got clear cool. tubing. Doesn't that look cool? Very, very cool. That looks beautiful. Look how, look how clean yeah. that... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, she's like, wait, you're not done yet? I got stuff to do. Jeez Louise. Came it off the bed. Thank God she's not running stuff around here. She's My not. God, she'd be <laughs> driving you into the ground, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got it on, we got it routed, and he actually likes the way that it routes better this way. It looks like it was, it was gonna kink if we did it's it the weird. other way. Yeah. yeah, so, and this one is like kind of like close, kind of wants to kink, so we're just gonna route it the same way as this one. That way we don't have any issues. And we have symmetry. Yeah, we, we're all about symmetry. All right, so we redid this side, ran the tubing around the outside like the other one. Looks really, really nice, look at that. It's perfect on both sides. Next thing we're gonna do is add some fluids and I think that'll be it for this episode. All right, you got this side done. Moment of truth, let's see how the clutch feels. Oh man, that actually, oh, that's incredible. I love how it just like flies back. I was telling him actually the stock clutch that went out of first gear, it felt like a little, I don't know, dodgy unless you were really getting on it hard. So hopefully this will fix that. I don't know if that was just like a, a weird stock thing or whatever, but um, that feels a lot better. So now he's gonna bleed the other side and then we'll be good to go. All right, we got it off the lift, pushed it outside. That looks incredible, guys. Look at how much cleaner that front end is. And then in the next episode, we'll get rid of these stupid turn signals. And that's gonna look a whole hell of a lot better. Clean up that whole front end, look at that. It looks really good. Look at it from this angle right here. That is pimp, dude. The back. From the riders, oh from the riders' uh, view, oh, good. dude, that looks really good, guys. Rory absolutely crushed it. See the little things coming around, the tubing. Look how cool that is. It looks really, really. I custom. like that you can see the liquid. Uh huh. See it flowing through there, poke, poke. and the the freaking brakes. Oh my god! Feels Feel that. So good. Feel that lever. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you put the spacers in? Oh, Isn't yeah, that amazing? Right no, there. we'll do that next. We'll do the spacers and the turn signals in the next episode. That is pimp. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Shout out to Manny from Moto Million for the parts. If you guys don't wanna get anything for your bikes, code CAMPEZ saves yourself uh, money on anything you order. And then if you guys wanna be interested or entered to win this bike, help support the project, patreon.com slash CAMPEZ customs. We have a lot of stuff coming for this. Exhaust is on its way. It's gonna get crazy really, really quickly full carbon from full six carbon fiber coming. It's gonna be badass. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.